Now normally, for anyone who is very skilled at Excel, comparing data from one column within a spreadsheet to another column in another spreadsheet is not the most difficult or time-consuming task. There are a few ways to do it. But today, we're going to look at something that is normally very time-consuming, and that's comparing and contrasting multiple columns. Let's show you what I mean here. Here we've got a property records file that has 38 rows of data, with 22 columns titled A through V. These property records contain all kinds of information. Now for the purposes of this demo, let's do a couple of things here. First, we'll copy this file. So now we've got two identical files. And we'll just quickly rename it. But they both have the exact same data in them. So now let's alter the contents of one of them. We'll open this file. And let's copy a bunch of this data in column A. And we'll paste it into column D. And we'll copy a bunch of this data from column C and paste it into E. And we'll copy some random entries from column V and paste it into column H. And lastly, let's delete a bunch of these rows. And we'll save this. So now we've got our two files that contain a handful of the same entries, but also contain a bunch of duplicate data in different cells. So now, even if you're very skilled at Excel, especially with very large files that are like this, you're going to be spending hours trying to clean up this data. So let's show you what we can do with this tool. We'll open up the matching tool, and we'll be sure to enable the content so that it can run. If we click on More Details, we'll see that it's asking us to enable macros and enable data connection. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now we'll load up our two files into the tool. We'll click Browse and select our first file. Then click Browse and locate our second file. And we'll import the contents. And click OK. So again, in file A, we've got these handful of entries, plus this duplicate data pasted in different columns. And in file B, we've got the original 38 rows with nothing else. First, I'll tell the tool what columns to compare to look for matched or unmatched data. Let's look at file A here, and I want the tool to extract the entries that match file B. So in the Start tab for file A, I'll select D, E, and H. And the same for file B. Now let's look at these matching options that we have. In this first case, we'd like to extract those matched entries, so I'll tell the tool to do so. I'll click Process, and it does so very quickly. Now in my folder where I have my tools saved, I'll see that a Files folder has been created. And this has my new comparison file automatically saved in it. Using columns D, E, and H to compare the two files, what data from file A was also in file B? Let's click on it, and it's those handful of rows that I didn't delete. Or if we want, let's go back to our tool again, and this time we'll ask it to find unmatched entries in file A. In other words, using columns D, E, and H to compare the two, which data is in file A that is not found in file B? It should only be that data that we copied and pasted. So let's process, and click OK. We'll come to our folder where it's automatically saved, and check it. And indeed, it's extracted that data. You can compare any columns you like. You just need to make sure that you have the same number of columns in these settings. So two columns here, two columns here. Or three columns here, three columns here, and so on. Again, with this powerful tool, you can save hours and hours of time, especially with files containing a lot of data fields.